Epilogue part two, Beecher's Hope. Oh my gosh, here we go. Really starting to come along here. I'm liking it. We made all this from that one little teeny tiny shack. Great work, John. Great work, my friend. Working hard. <clears throat> it's the lumbago. <laughs> I am I overdue it. I'll get a relapse. It's very serious. Get up or get out. You can be so testy. What is it? Constipation? Guess you're my proof I'll never quite outrun my sins. You got so sanctimonious in your old age. No wonder she left you. It's like rooming with the King James Bible. <laughs> Get up! <laughs> oh, I, I, I'm getting up. Oh, no, wait, what did I have to tell you? I, I went into town. Uh, oh, I got, I got a little drunk. Uh, oh, shit! Well, we gotta go. We gotta go to Saint Denis. Charles! Charles Smith is alive, I reckon. Charles Smith alive? Really? I, I reckon. This I dreamed it all, and by the sound of it, not doing too good neither. Kind of feels like the the gang's starting to get back together. Not as a not in a gang sense, but just like we're starting to reconnect with everybody, which is kind of cool. Met Sadie. Met up with Uncle. Check on Charles here, make sure he's still doing all right. All right. Here we are. Come on, let's get off. All right. Yeah. <sighs> Back in San Denis. I never liked this place. Oh, yeah. Oh, me neither. Uncle, what did you do here? Nothing. All right. Let's go find that big sour bastard. Sure. Let's split up. Good idea. I'll take the saloons, you take the slums. Nah, uh, how about I take the saloons, and you take the slums? Got him. Ask about Charles at the saloon or the fence. Those are the two places we would definitely find him. I say we check the saloon first. I know that's where I would be hanging out. Ales, wines, and cigars. This has got to be the spot. Hey, partner. You seen a big Indian guy? Indian? <laughs> sure. I've seen hundreds. A big guy. Boxer, maybe? Likes fighting? Yeah. Yeah. Bare knuckle guy. I think he's, he's fighting tonight over at St. Saturday. Wait, what? Thank you. Thanks a lot. No problem, bud. Well, hey, you good luck. Find Charles at St. Saturnine's. What is he's like actually a legitimate boxer? Should be interesting. Some of us become ranchers and cowhands, and some of us become bounty hunters. Others become boxers, I guess. <laughs> what took you so long? Oh, good Uncle's Lord. already here. I was just beginning to enjoy some peace and quiet. <laughs> Asked that first barman I met, and he told me Charles was here. Of a surprise. <laughs> Not one of life's great massacre. mysteries. Turns and you out. are a killer. We both know what you gotta do. I'm leaving now. What you been up to, brother? Half of it. John? You're... You're... I'm alive. <laughs> so are you. <sighs> So's he. That's Uncle? What are you doing? I don't know. I'm alive. Uncle thought maybe he was in some sort of trouble. Uh, kind of, just... I don't know. I, I'm throwing fights for a few dollars. Throwing fights? Sure. And you like that? Of course not. So? So... Let me go place a bet. Come on. Man, I thought you were dead. Sure. Abigail's still alive, too, only she left me. Uh, excuse me. I'd like to place a bet. On who? On myself, to win. Lone Wolf. How much? All of this. Okay. Funny thing, 
I pegged you for the favorite, but the odds just got real good. What about you, sir? A uh, little wager on the wolf here? Real redskin brave. Absolutely. Sir, I'm a fan of the wolf. Give me a bet on him. Have I got a treat for you. An epic battle between the descendant of ancient warriors and a not-so-noble savage. On my left, a ferocious battler from the valleys, Simon of Wales. And on my right, an Injun Hercules. He's going to be in trouble for actually trying to win this fight. The unbeaten, and dare I say unbeatable, lone wolf. You know how this works. No weapons, no forfeiting, no crying like a beaten child. Everything else goes. You win by knockout, you win by retirement, or you win by death. Let's have a good fight, boys. Let's keep it clean, but not so clean. Come on, Charles. Pretend he's Micah. Try and stay on your feet, you hear? There it is. Knock him out. Don't black out just yet. Hit him, Charles. Don't be stupid, little wolf. Try and stay on your feet, you hear? Oh, he is kicking butt, boy. Pretend he's Micah. That's a KO. Now pay him. Come on, lone wolf. Gotta get you the hell out of here. Hey, Lone Wolf! Whoa! How? Made my months, but you also made some fellas mighty unhappy. <laughs> so it goes. It's your share, partner. If we just made the bed, I said we So you keen on staying around here or heading off with me and Uncle? But, John, I haven't seen you two in years. I know. But right now, my sense is you just need to lie low. Where? We got a little place up past Blackwater, in the high country. Okay. I gotta grab my baggage. I booked a steamer heading up river. That's why I was pretending to throw the fight. Okay, boys. I'll meet you at the bridge outside Saint Denis. What are you doing? Oh, just have a few errands to run. <laughs> You're useless. I am a deep thinker. Be quick. Come on. So he was pretending to throw the fight, and then he was gonna bet on himself anyway to my bag's on the dock side. Make a bunch of money. Oh. Smart. What happened? You mean back then? Arthur helped me get out. Gave me a chance to live, I guess. You, you know that Arthur... Sure. Word got to me up north, so I went back and buried him in Miss Grimshaw. Aww. I had to run. If any of us had been found, we'd have... Oh, of course. I understand. He's where he would have wanted to be. A pretty hillside, facing the evening sun. He gave me his satchel with some of his things in it. Remember that journal he always drew in? I got it. I'm a bit of a draftsman myself nowadays. He was a good man. As much as any of us could be. Getting sick like that has to rattle a fella. Rattle him or give him some kind of understanding. What his life was really all about. Yeah. That makes sense. Anyway, I heard all of you were dead. Or I might have come looking. And me, the same about you. Dutch? Who knows? Dead? Maybe? I'm not sure. Probably not. I heard all kind of things, but one thing I know, he ain't around here. I ain't heard nothing real in years since, well, that time. Nor me. Micah. I hope that bastard's dead. You know, he was the one speaking to them agents. What? Putting them on us the whole time. Or since before I got off Sisica. They picked up Strauss. The agents. Made a real mess of him. I heard he died in custody. Never said a word. Oh. Uh, guess some folk is strong in ways you can't see. Everything that happened. All those deaths. Micah? None of us is innocent in that. Dutch, least of all. But I don't think we would have had to make those calls. All that me- Okay. Uh, hold on. What? Careful. Why? Those are 
Guido Martelli's men. Who? He, uh, he used to work for Angelo Bronte. I've only been here an hour. Hey. <sighs> well, this is not I'm good. Here. What now? Well, you go left, I go right. On three. Mm -hmm. Three. <laughs> here we go. One, two. Give me a third. And give me a fourth. Let's go. There's a wagon up there. I'll get my back. Okay. We gotta get gone, Charles. West. Hold on. Haven't been in town more than five minutes and we're already dead. <laughs> Wanted dead or alive, dude. Not yet. Keep your eye out. Santa me ain't short on police. I remember that. Only too well. Anyone? Good so far. The further we get from those gunshots, the better chance we have. Of denying it, at least. No. We can't get caught. Martelli has the police chief in his pocket. If they take us in, we won't get out of the interview room. I don't want to get in a shootout over this. That's not the man I try to be anymore. No, I don't want that either. You see anything? I think we're good. I think we're clear. If I ever want to go back, remind me that I hate Saint Denis. Guido Martelli will happily remind you of that. Give me some simple folk and wide open spaces. Speaking of simple... John Charles! <laughs> so he's one step ahead of you us. You boys been all getting up to no good? Kind of. Been getting shot at. Well, they weren't very good shots. Come on, let's head for home. <laughs> Thanks for looking up. I really want to see Abigail come back. I don't know how we're going to get back in touch with her. I don't know if we know where she is, but. Starting a little family again. And here we are back at the ranch. Bare knuckle friendships. Feels like old times. <laughs> it's good to have the old gang back together again. Let's just hope things don't turn out like last time. There he goes. What'd I tell you, Charles? Boy is as sour as weak old milk. No wonder she didn't stay with you. <laughs> Not even a retired $2 whore would stay with you. That's the <laughs> goddamn truth. Now, you used to be decent company, but now you're worse than a snake with a toothache. All he does is whine, whine. Wow. Excuse me. Oh, don't get all angry. It ain't gonna change nothing. You're hopeless. And I mean that literally. You got no hope. I mean, look at you. Look at this place. Your dream home. I've had better nightmares than this dream. Oh, darling Abigail. I've changed. Come live with me in an outhouse. I wouldn't ask my worst enemy to take a shit in. What are you trying to say? It's awful. It's a dump. The house has got to go. Keep I agree with him on that. Respect you miserable sack of shit. Build a house of a lady set foot in. The place just needs a woman's touch. It needs leveling. No woman would touch this place. Now, I reckon these horses can have it down in a minute. Here, come on. Tie that end around the horses. You loop that end around there. Horses will pull it clean down. <laughs> we good? I think so. All right. Well, <laughs> let's get going. Now, just pull. You got this, John? I'll go when you do. Come on, buddies. Okay. On me. Good Yeah, it wouldn't be no 
trouble. And now? Now we head into town, buy ourselves a house, right out of a book. Same as if it were a bicycle. Where in town? There's a fellow by the train store. Cakes hardwood and timber. Okay. You keep working here. But if I don't go with you, who's going to tell you that? Just need a bit of peace and quiet from your incessant yapping. Charles, make him work. Whip him if you have to. <laughs> he needs it. All right. So we're going to be going into town. And we are going to, uh, to find ourselves a new house, I guess. We've also got Sadie Adler in town. I don't know if we have enough money to completely build a new house yet, but... She said she always had a, a steady supply of work, so let's go see if she's got something for us. Well, I don't believe Hello, I Sadie. Here she be in the saloon. Oh, <laughs> Come sit down. Sure. You, uh... You got any work? What is she yeah. here? I mean, there's always work. Whole country's getting robbed, robbing or stopping robbers. Well, seems like there ain't much else in this world except bastards, victims of bastards, and the bastards who want to put the bastards in the ground. And which are you, exactly? Me? In my time, all three. But same as most people. I guess. Funny thing about this job, well, opportunity, I just might get to be all three again. How you mean? <clears throat> you ever heard of uh, Shane Finley? Cattle wrestler? Murder, thief, child killer. He's wanted in five states. I caught him last week. He was disguised as a lady in a house for fallen women. <laughs> I was bringing him in, and I got robbed by a professional rival of mine, James Langton. Oh, he's a nasty bastard. I didn't much like him even before he robbed me. That happened a lot. This line of work. Yeah, but they're all people like me. Anyway, now they're holed up in the desert down south waiting to head north so they can hand them in to the state troopers in the north country. I'd given up on the job as just a bad lot, but now that you're here, maybe we can go rob them back. Let's go rob Isn't the robbers. Good? Yeah. It's real good. Plus, I don't much like getting robbed by no one. I can understand Come that. Come on. Where is it we're heading again, you say? Mm. South. Now, come on. Mount up. We got a ride ahead of us. Of course we do. Let's do this thing, girl. You're a good girl now. Me. Let's ride. Yes, ma'am. That new horse? Some folk buy ranches, some buy horses. Horses are cheap. <laughs> he looks mean. He is. My ranch? It's something else, you know. You gotta come up there. He ain't had any trouble. Some squatters, but that's it for the most part. That's good. Maybe these fellers I heard about have stayed north or gone off somewhere else or dropped down dead in their own tracks. It's good country. All country is good. It's just folk that are bad. You know who I got up there with me? Uncle. Besides Uncle. Abigail? Ah. Uh. Abigail ain't come there just yet. Really? You, er, wanna talk about it? Well, maybe, but Charles Smith. We found Charles Smith. Charles? He's alive? Yeah. He's doing okay. He was prize fighting in Saint Denis. Weren't seeming too well. He took everything real hard. But I think life on the plains is going to be good for him. I always like Charles. You send him my best. I will. You know, you can come along too. Build a cabin on the John land. just wants all his friends with I've him. I've done that all before. Can't do it again. I'm on my own now, John. I, I ain't so good with people. 
Uh, the offer's there, whenever you want it. That's kind. Unlikely to be taken up, but kind. You heard anything of Dutch? Nothing. You? No. You'd think. He's a colorful character. Word would get out. That's one way of putting it. Look, what happened with the gang changed everyone who was a part of it. The Dutch who put a blanket round me after the O'Driscolls, that weren't the same man at Beaver Hollow. And now, he might not be so colorful no more. You see a man whose character changed. I see a man who got found out for who he truly was. We were fools to follow him. I was a fool and I paid for it. And I was one of the lucky ones. Micah, John. Micah's the one who set it off. I blame me for following Dutch for too long, but I blame Micah for most everything else. He's out there. And someday, I hope we'll find him. But uh, not now. Come on. I hope we get to get revenge on Micah. I really do. I feel like if we could get the ranch settled, get Abigail back, Abigail and Jack, and then find Micah and put an end to him, that would close up all the books. We'd be good to go. There's a spot up ahead where we can see over most of the country. They'll be down there. And just kind of so, close. James Lang tells the book on everything. He's got this outlaw you captured in a women's boarding house. Shane Finley. Correct. And we aim to have Langton give him back to us before he rides north with him to hand him over to some state troopers? Correct again. Though the giving back part is optimistic. I'm forever the optimist. Might have to take him back. This is pretty magnificent. Oh my goodness, dude. This is the place. It's a view, all right. Come on, let's go take a look down in the valley. Wow. We're gonna go look at Armadillo. Oh man. Here we go, boys. We need our items, we need our binocs. Be quicker if we both look. You got binoculars, don't you? I think I see something. Yup. That convoy? There they are, down there. Who's who? Well, the bounty is the feller who's all tied up. <laughs> Very funny. And that big fat feller with the funny hat? That's James Langton. The other fellas just work for him. Where do you think they're heading? Mm -hmm. Come on. Let's go follow them. Let's do it. They aren't going to get away from us. It's only four people. We can handle that no problem. We need to... Uh... Do we have any... We don't have anything we can smoke for some... Some what's it called? We do have candies. Eat some candies. I'm trying to get some dead eye back. They're cutting through the canyon underneath it. Let's go. That looks pretty good. Hey. Hurry up, girl. We don't want to let them get away. I'm gonna eat one more. And maybe one more for good measure. They'll be coming through here. Give me a sec. I just want to make sure we're prepared. All right, our dead eye is maxed. Should start building back. Easy. There they are. We follow and keep an eye on them. I thought we were going to be getting ready to attack them. 
guess we're just chilling. Don't want to go over that butte. That would not be good. You won't get north through here. What are you doing, huh? You, you talking to me or like? Sorry, I ain't used to having anyone with me. My guess is they'll stop up ahead. We can get a better look at them. You know his thinking pretty well. Hmm? If you can't outgun them, you gotta outthink them. down a ways. We'll head them off there. Okay. Sounds good to me. She always was super smart. Anytime she had a plan, it was well thought out. This might be our chance. All the way. Bolt action, or we got the repeater. Yeah, they're stopping. And that sure is Shane Finley coming off the back of his horse. What are they waiting for? Uh, the rest of Langton's men, I think. <laughs> Langton's doing pretty well for himself. How come he's got all them men and you work alone? <laughs> I got you. You're worth 10 of them. <laughs> Great. All right, so what you think? Should we threaten them, start shooting at them, or sneak down and pick them off one by one? Sneak. I reckon sneaking down is our best opportunity, but uh, it's your call. Sneak, for sure. I'll follow your lead. Let's sneak down there. Okay, well, follow away. Stay down and stay close. Let's go. Here we go, baby. I'm really looking forward we'll to this. Down the canyon. Look out on these rocky paths. Look out for what? Two guys. Blow us. Let's get close. Oh, they've got a bunch of guys here. They've got like lookouts and stuff. Okay. Up, baby. Up ahead. Another one off the phone. He's the guy. Taking care. She's going for the middle back. Seems a little bit sketchy. Damn, squeaky bridges might be the death of us. Come on. Gotta be quiet. Come on. There's no way. They know we're here. Come on. Well. Tried. Are you gonna kill him or are you just gonna look at him? Arthur's weapons, dude. He's down. Arthur's guns were way better. We're okay. Got him. Got somebody right there. 
right there. Pushing up. Let's go, let's go. Got some of these last guys down in the basin. Oh. I think that's the guy we're trying to save. Probably don't want to shoot him. Got a guy right here. He's totally tied up. We definitely shot him once. I'm hoping he's not dead. I think I shot him. Look at him here, dead. Hell, that's what you get for robbing me from LinkedIn. The bounty's dead. I make things easier. We're paid regardless. Oh, well, that's Let's good. Let's get Finley. Get him out of here. Okay, you're taking Finley. Let's go. Get him on your <laughs> Dude, I didn't mean to shoot him, but <laughs> I mean. Good Finley. He's dead, he's dead, doesn't matter, I guess. Let's go turn him in. Look out! On the rope bridge! Got him! They're handled. Woo! I have no clue what this dude did, but he was wanted in five states, so. Hopefully that means he deserves to be executed because that's the same thing that happened. Yo, you're telling me to turn around, you're telling me to watch out on the left, you're telling me to watch out everywhere. That was actually kind of tough. I'm not gonna lie. I can't believe we shot the guy. <laughs> I was wondering why somebody was laying there on the ground. I don't know there's really much to say. You ain't gone soft in these years, have you? Do I seem soft? What's gotten into you? Finley's dead. Langton's dead, his men. You ain't getting robbed no more, so... Listen, John. I have to stick up for myself. No one else will. They were bad men. I know. I know. The truth is... I might be more cut out for this work than raising or having a family. Maybe killing's all I'm good for, too. That ain't the truth, John. You're gonna be an old man on your porch with grandkids around. Just, you gotta pay for it, is all. I don't know if you can do both. I get these thoughts. Yeah, that's what the drink is for. Or fishing. Or anything. You're strong enough to handle it. I hope I am. Sometimes in the past, that ain't always been the case. Coming up on the jailhouse. Let's show this body to them. You better have read that bounty poster right. We'll see. Dude, I'm gonna be so mad if we get paid less for such a stupid little mistake. Bring him and put him on a bed. Sheriff can call the Undertaker if he wants to. We brought in Shane Finley. Well, what's left of him. I 
as it I'm locked in this piece of shit gets Well, it certainly looks like him. Shame. I was looking forward to watching you swing. Throw him out back, would you? I thought you said you lost him. Well, I did, but we got him back. Oh, and James Langton's dead. We killed him. Why'd you do a thing like that? It was him that robbed me. Okay. <laughs> Here. So casual Here. about it. There's a decent price on Finley. Mm-hmm. I know. <laughs> you want this money to go to the bank, too? No, I'll, uh... I'll take it myself. <laughs> okay, Jim Milton. It's John Marston here. All right, well, if you need any more work, you can find me in town. Or maybe I'll find you. I'm retired. Sure. <laughs> Be well, John. 150 bucks for our time. An honest day's labors. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if I could call that an honest day, but uh, it wasn't bad. All right, we're gonna go back and see what Albert Cakes is up to. Excuse me, sir. You work here? No, I just hang around here for fun. Ha <laughs> joking, I'm joking. How can I help you, friend? I know this sounds crazy. Some dumb old coot I know is telling me there's these houses you can buy pre-cut. <laughs> Not crazy, friend. The very latest in modern convenience. Convenient and cost efficient. Which house do you want? No way, dude. We're going to be picking one out a house. It's entirely unique, but also the same. Excuse me? Perhaps I'm going too fast, sir. Do you want to buy a house? I think so. I'll give you a luxurious, entirely unique pre cut palace. <laughs> and if you order today, I guarantee your home in a matter of weeks. Maybe sooner. I'll take that one. Ah, uh -huh, yes, we have that one in stock. And I already got credit from the bank. Oh, fantastic. Now, you write your name here, and uh, you sign your name there, and you will be the proud owner of a factory-built home. It's that easy. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Martin. Albert Cakes, Esquire, at your service. Mr. Martin. Always give me a minute. I like the sound of that. What are you doing here? Everything okay? I'm not sure. Probably. A fella came by the farm. Got attacked on the road. He said the Skinner brothers was hanging around. Lots of them. Left Uncle Arm to the teeth back at the ranch. Who are these two? Guns for hire. If they're Skinner's about, we need them. We ain't got that kind of money, Charles. You want to get robbed for your house? No, but... Hey, these Skinner's gonna be nasty. Come on. Mr. Devon, you're with me. Mr. Wayne, this is... Milton. Jim Milton. Sir, good to meet you. We're gonna be heading up to the Manzanita Post. Why? The best smith around is that Norwegian fella up there. So they say. You boys ready? Yes, sir, we're ready. Good, because you're about to get shot at over a goddamn hammer. You want to build a house with a sniper rifle, then? I know old Neil's real well. I'll get you a good deal. Thank you, sir. All right, then. Let's go buy us some tools. Here we go, boys. So our entire house is in these two wagons. It's kind of cool. I like it. Very innovative. Say, is your friend a Negro or a Redskin? I think a bit of both, for what it's worth. Cash is cash. That was all the same to me. I saw you getting skittish there, but don't you worry. We're not getting shot at. Oh, yeah. I know Charles Smith. If he's got cause to be concerned, it's usually good cause. You got a shotgun messenger sitting right beside you, all right? Now, suppose you don't know much about robbing caravans. Not much, I guess. <laughs> no. Well, nor do I. But I know a thing or two about protecting them. And if a robber sees some strong men sitting up front, two of them guns for hire, then they're gonna wait for the next set of fools to come on through. Unless they take the guns to mean they're carrying something valuable, instead of pre-cut timber and some tools. What? No. Wait, look, trust me on this. You are overthinking it. 
You hire a gun, you hire peace of mind and a deterrence. So I'll sit here looking big and scary, and you can concentrate on the horses. <laughs> All right. I'll this guy's just full of that. it. Maybe I've done this kind of thing before. Oh, have you? And maybe I can handle a weapon. But I'm not so different from you, partner. I think you might be. Hey, we're much we're better. The next right, up towards Manzanita Post. Tell me that again. People wonder how you can handle it, living by your gun. But it's the same as any other occupation, really. When I get home, I put my gun on the rack and it stays there. I mean it, it, it really stays there. I don't even think about it. My mind's on my wife and the little ones. I'm chopping wood, mending the roof, putting the kids to bed. But when I'm out here, I'm watching the tree line. I got my gun at the red. This guy's gonna be the and biggest wimp, I guarantee it. As comfortable as possible. That's, uh, real good up here. You're in good hands. I know this country well. Good. Am I finally gonna meet this tool maker? Now, Niels, he's an acquired taste, but boy, can he work metal. Norwegian, you see? Viking blood. Fellas up there used to worship a god with a hammer. Guess I figures they'd still be making them. I'm not sure how much English he speaks, but Neil's knows tools. This is the spot, just up ahead. Okay. You boys wait here. After you, Mr. Milton. What's up, Niels? Niels. Niels, it's me. Willard Wayne. Okay. This is my associate, Jim Milton. Okay. He heard you was the best. Best smith around. He needs some tools. He's building a ranch house up at Beecher's Hope. Beecher's Hope? Okay. Have you got any maid? Uh, okay. This guy's weird. Like I said, an acquired taste, but a heart of gold, and he's the best. You off someplace, Mills. Okay. <laughs> Are those the tools we need? So Milton is uh, working with Cakes Hardwood and Timber in town. Should I get them to pay you and add it to his bill up there? Okay. Come on, let's get moving. I guess that's all it takes. Whew. Okay. <laughs> and now right. here's where we get robbed. Ooh, we got our pump action shotgun Damn. back too. Features hope. They've been trying to sell that property for some time, haven't they? Took a look at it myself as it so happens. Seemed like a lot of work. Too much for me, but more power to you. Must have seen something in it I could. Oh, 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 oh. Everyone find some cover! Here it is, boys. Keep your head down! Who are these people? It's the Why are they using bows and arrows? You okay? Oh, these are the these are the skinners. They're like jungle people, bro. Killer, how you hold up there? We'll get you out of here. Hold tight, Willard. Oh my god, that is terrifying. Oh! No! It's a good thing we had this shotgun, bro. They're pulling back. Come to the wagons. All right. Alive? <laughs> no. Mr. Devin, you okay? Yes. That the last of them? I think so. There's more. They got the tools. They grab Mr. Wayne. All right. You stay here. Guard the wagon. Charles, come on. Let's go, baby. They got me. Help me. Over here. 
Yeah, Mr. Big Tough Guy can handle anything. Mr. Hired Gun, I'm so cool, I'm so strong, I'm so tough. Not like that now, huh? You mean they drew us? We have to get past them! They climbed up in the tree! Just the ones up there! Hold on. My hat just got knocked off. I'm not letting Arthur's hat go. Right here. Who else we got? They're still up there. Hide the tree. Where? Got him. Okay, let's move. He took him down the hill. What's up, y'all? They're coming out of nowhere! He's coming out of I'm not dying here! This is a really disturbing group of people, dude. Oh, I don't like the sound of that! Come on! We're okay. Let's keep moving. We gotta be gaining on them! Oh, oh. So, they're on top of us! They're on top Woo. of us! He's right next to us! Please. With the machete! Oh, baby! Mr. White! We're coming! These guys are literally exploding. Where's we go? He's gonna be up in the tree or something. Charles, I found the tools. Now, where's Mr. Got staked to the tree. Jesus. You gotta move fast. Come on. These guys are almost worse than the, the crazy people that we met up in the woods in the north at our last camp. The crazy, like, cannibal dudes of the caves. I didn't know there was anybody like this down here. I thought he was gonna be a wimp and just not be as tough. I didn't think he was gonna get a stake through the eye all the way through the back of the head, dude. That was... That was something else. Get out of here. There's no way that was the end of them, too. I'm sure we're gonna have more on the way out. Oh my lord. What'd they do to him? Nothing nice. Let's get going, Charles. We ain't got all day. Okay. John, I'm riding with you. Get us back to beaches. Those were the Skinner brothers. I told you I was worried. Sadie said something too. What kind of land have I bought? It's not the land. The Skinners move around. They're here for now. I thought this... This kind of bloodshed was meant to be over with. What was all the nonsense about civilization? This kind of bloodshed is different. Folks have been killed, sure. For good reason and bad. But rarely just for the fun of it. That was fun for them? No. Not that time. Most folk don't usually put up with such a fight. Then I hope we put an end to it. Dude, that was so close to Uncle! our house, too. Uncle! <laughs> He's sleeping. Uncle! You useless sack of crap. I was keeping guard. Really? Oh, what happened? Skinner Brothers. Bottom? Enough. 
Once this is done, I'll take Mr. Devin back to town. I'm gonna pull Mr. Wayne buried. Okay. Be careful. Oh, I will. But I'm fairly sure we scared him off for now. Bad business. Well, we'll be safe together. Sure. If you say so. Time to put our house together. Like some Ikea furniture or something. And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. Mission's been completed. That's good to hear. We got uncle over here. What you up to, aunt? Those plans make any sense? Oh, sure. Seems easy enough, I think. How hard can it be? <laughs> but I'll tell you what I think. Just to be safe, I'll do the reading and planning, and you do the building. How did I know you'd try to weasel out of doing any work? Oh, now, that is plain unfair. It, it's... Inaccurate and not what's going to happen. I'm simply going to use what I've got, which is a brain. Why you use what you've got, which is less of a brain. <laughs> Let's get started. Well, first thing it says the foundation, which involves moving those heavy wooden joists. Definitely not a job for a man with terminal lumbago unless you want to dig a six foot deep hole for me. Sure, that'd be great. Days over. Don't tempt me. Oh, here comes Charles. Maybe he can lighten the mood a little. How'd you get on? He'll be back, but not for a while. Charles, dear boy, John needs help moving these joists. Now, come on. Get a move on. We gotta get started before the rains come. You're very annoying. He's right. We should get on with this. <laughs> We're gonna get a time lapse. This is awesome. <laughs> this is pretty cool, dude. I'm hoping this is what Red Dead Online is gonna be like. Like, I hope you can go out and buy wood and build your own house and all kinds of crazy stuff. Let a saw in a board and I'll cut it I'll climb up a ladder with a hammer and a nail and I'll nail it Well, we worked so hard to build a little house together In the snow or the rain or the ice cold wind whenever No matter what the weather We're together One little blue jay is chilling here the entire time, too. Man, that is really coming together. That looks great. Got the walls going up. Looks fairly similar to what we do today. Let me have a rule 
song Dude, that looks I'll sick. Come. Climb up a ladder with a hammer and a nail, and I'll nail it. Well, we work so hard to build a little house together. In the snow or the rain or the ice cold wind, whenever. No matter. Any weather. We're together. <laughs> Finally starting to come together, baby. Let's lay the shingles. And I think that's everything. <laughs> we did it. John Marston, you have a home. So do you. Oh, I know. And you, Charles, as long as you'll stay with us. Thank you. <laughs> Gentlemen, to this happy home. Well, at least till this fool gets his woman back. <laughs> Time to write a letter to Abigail. My darling Abigail, I hope you and Jack are doing well. I remain a fool, and I'm sure I shall die a fool. But I'm trying very hard to be something like the man you deserve. I have done something very silly in an effort to impress you. And that is, I've purchased a home. The land you read about in the newspaper up at Beecher's Hope is now ours, and we are going to try our hand at ranching. Mr. Geddes kindly helped me buy the land. I met Uncle while I was coming out of the bank, and while I know your feelings about him, he has been enormously helpful. Ish. In his own fashion. Charles Smith has also appeared and is unsurprisingly a pillar of strength. Together, we've built you a home. I hope soon to show it to you. I miss you and the boy more than I can express. Please, come back to me. Yours always, John. That makes me so happy. What a good man. She better come back. Abigail, I'm... Can't miss out on something like this.